Honor. Loyalty. Respect. Bring Hello everybody, this is Kismet. I'm back again with another tutorial, this one on Elite Dangerous. A really fun space game, currently in beta. And I'm going to walk you through some of the basics. We're going to look at uh, the controls, how to fly around, and a little bit of my progression through the game. So let's dive right in. The first thing we did was we set up a private group. We all got in that private group and then we can play separate from everybody else. And here we are in the cockpit. Now I've flown around a little bit here. Here I'm at Chango Dock. You can see in the middle of the screen there. We're going to go over the interface, and I'm going to be using different keys. I'm going to be using the 1, 2, 3, and 4 key on the top of your keyboard to kind of jump around into the different navigation. So let's get right into it. Let's press number 1, and it takes me to my navigation, missions, and contacts interface. Now, as you can see, I can lock in a destination. Now, I'm already at Change O Dock, so I actually want to lock in a different destination, which is all in in this case. And I'm going to lock in the destination, and when I fly out of the space station, it'll already be locked on, and I'll be ready to fly there. Let's take a look at the missions tab. As you can see, I have some fines here. That's from flying into the space station without first asking for permission. So how do we ask for permission? Well, we need to go to the contacts. We need to select the change o dock before we fly in, and let them know that we're requesting docking. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, why don't you teach me how to fly first? Well, I find this is the most important thing in the game, or you're going to get blown up. It's also important to know that I'm using the Q and the E to go from menu to menu, and W and S to go up and down in the selections, and pressing the space bar to select something. Now your 1 through 4 navigation keys work as a toggle, so if you press 1, it'll take you to your navigation panel, then you press 1 again, it'll take you back out. Then if you press 2, it'll take you to your comms, press 3, it takes you to your center radar. Then you press number 4, and it's going to take you over to your status, modules, fire groups, cargo, and functions panel. Now here in your status panel, you can see your credits, kills, and also your crime. You want to be watching that very closely so you don't get blown up flying into a station. Now in this area, we have modules, which is basically your shield generator, some other things like your power plant, life support. You can set up how much power is going to each system. Now here in fire groups, as you can see, I have no weapons. That's because I got rid of my weapon because I don't want to accidentally start shooting in the space station and get blown up. Now you can change all that in your outfitting, which I'll show you later. We can also see what cargo we have and what functions we can do, like deploying the landing gear, that kind of stuff. And there's also shortcut keys for all of those kind of things. A good one to know in here is the distress beacon. I've actually used that before when I've run out of fuel. All right, so let's jump into the Starport services while we're here in the Starport. And it's going to open up here into Change O Dock. And you're going to see the interface on the right-hand side, which you can use your mouse with. You can see I'm low fuel here. So what I'm going to do is uh, kind of look at my balance, how much money I have, how my hull is looking, and go into the fuel store and add some fuel. Now, you can also do this through the standard Q and E and A and S. All right, so we're going to back out of this area here. We hit back again. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the contacts. And we're going to make sure that we don't owe anything here in this particular station. We see right now we have no outstanding fines, and we're good there. Let's go ahead and go to the commodities market, and we're going to see what we want to trade. Now, from here, there's some really good things you can trade. The first thing I'm going to grab here is some fish just to get started uh, and go do my first trade and make some credits. Now, let's go ahead and launch out of here, and I'll show you some basic flight. Now you'll notice that you see a square in the middle of my screen on my radar. This is the launching and landing interface. What we'll see here is we'll wait for this to load here, and then I will start to go straight up. I'm going to use my R key to make me go straight up. It thrusts me upwards. I can use F to thrust down. I'm also using the E key to thrust right, or the Q key to thrust left. And I can also use, again, the R key to thrust up, and the F key to thrust down. This makes it a lot easier when you're in the station to maneuver yourself so you can exit it or enter it as well. Once we get far enough away from the dock, you'll see that the middle radar changes. And let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what all these things do. Right here is your throttle, and you use your W and S key on your keyboard to throttle up or throttle down. Now, of course, you can customize all these controls or use a HOTA system. Holding down S long enough will throttle you in reverse. Now, I'm a little bit of a crazy driver, as you can see, and uh-oh, there's one coming at me. you got to dodge them as they're coming in. That's a big ship. And luckily, I've dodged out of the way. 
using my A and D keys. Now you're going to notice I throttle up and start going even faster. That's because I just brought up my landing gear. As you can see on the right side of the screen, the little blue square went away from where it says landing gear. I changed my landing gear to the G key, so I can hit it once it'll go down and once it'll come back up. Next to our landing gear is our power distribution. Am I putting more power into the engines, more into the system like the shields, or more into the weapons? And you can adjust that with your arrow keys on your keyboard. Right here is your shields, and it shows you also the status of your hull. The three rings means that there's a lot of power into the shields right now. This middle area is your radar, and it will point you in the right direction of where your targets are. It definitely takes some practice to get used to it. This area here shows you what you currently have targeted. It shows you in visual form. Here it will show you what planet or station you have selected as your destination. As you can see, I have all in selected, and that's where we're going to jump to next. Now, it's very important to be aware of this blue square over here, which is called mass locked. It means you're too close to large objects, and you can't jump yet. When I move away from the large objects, this little blue square is going to go away. And there it goes. Now the little blue square went away, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the J key to jump to this next system. It's going to first put us in warp, it's going to warp us to the next system, and then we're going to be in something called super cruise. There is a little bit of time, as you can see here, to charge up your jump drive, and then the second it gets to the end, it's going to jump you through. Here we go! At first, this is one of the most confusing parts for me in the game, is the fact that I actually came out of warp, but I'm not totally out of warp yet. I'm actually in another speed called Super Cruise. So I'm actually going really, really fast, and I'm traveling between the different planets and stations. So you want to think of this as a kind of in-between being in regular speed or in being in warp speed, also known as Super Cruise. Now the next thing we need to do is choose the actual station that we want to go to, to lock that in as our destination. And again, I'm using the Q and E and W and S to navigate around and the spacebar to select. Now let's take a moment to look at this little circle right here with the little lines that are going vertically and horizontally. The little yellow indicator, which looks like brackets right now, is telling you in which direction your target is. In this case, it's behind us because it's like brackets. If it was in front of us, it would be a solid yellow square. This is simply the most important thing to learn in your navigation. Once I learned about this, then I really started to have fun. As you can see, we've come around and aimed toward our target, and the yellow square is filled in now. I'm also throttling up using the W key. You can also throttle down with the S to increase my speed toward the target. Now, if you notice, on the left-hand side here, there's a little blue area. That's called the sweet spot. This is where you want to keep your throttle, and it will auto-throttle for you. Also notice at the end of this line here, this little circle at the end, is filled in. That means it's going to auto adjust your thrust for you. It's going to step down your thrust as you get closer and closer to the target. Now on the left hand side here is basically the same thing. Your distance and speed to the target. Now I'm going to speed this up a little bit, but watch the throttle as it goes down, down, down as closer we get. This is your auto throttle helping you out. Once we're close to the target here, within a thousand, we're going to hit the J key again to jump out of Super Cruise. And you can see it says safe, disengage, ready. And just so I don't hit it too soon, I usually wait to about 800. Next, I'll fly toward my target. And once I get close to it, I'll go ahead and select it with tab. And then I'm going to request docking when I'm within 7 kilometers. I'm going to go ahead and press the 1 key. That's going to take me to my navigation. I'm going to go across using the Q and E to contacts, select request docking, and press the space bar. I'm then going to go ahead and press the 1 again, and notice in the middle of my screen it says proceed to landing pad 16. So we're going to go ahead and zoom our way into the space station here and look for landing pad 16. Now there's one small problem here. When we're in here, we can't seem to see landing pad 16. That's because it's actually underneath us. Now how do I know that? I know that by looking right here. The little yellow rectangle is telling me that it's underneath me. It's down below the ship. So I'm using it to navigate my way to the landing pad. Once I'm close to the landing pad, again, I'm using my Q and E and R and F to navigate my way to get the little circle at the bottom of this line, you can see it in red, in the middle of that target to bring my ship down using my F key 
so that I land perfectly on the landing pad. Next I'm going to go into the services, into the commodities, and sell my fish for some profit. There we go. And we hit submit and we'll make ourselves a nice little thousand profit there. We're also going to grab ourselves some other commodities, refuel our ship, and we're ready to go again. Now what I'll do is just travel back and forth between those two systems, trading back and forth until I build up enough cash to get my next level ship. Now I'm a trader at heart, and this video is not going to show about combat, mainly about trading and how to fly from place to place. Now we've talked about flying, we've talked about trading back and forth and getting from place to place and taking off and landing. We're going to finish up with some quick kind of breeze through all the different ships that I progressed through as I was playing. Here I bought the Eagle. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit faster, and it costs about 16,000 credits. So I purchased this ship and then went and traded for a while on this one as well. I'm going to go into Outfitting here so you can take a nice close look at the Eagle as well as where you can see the hard points. Now this is where I adjust my hard points. I typically take my weapon out because I'm just a trader. I'm not going to be doing any fighting. So what I'll do here is I'll go to the laser and I'll sell that off. This way I don't accidentally shoot something in the station and get blown up. After trading for a while, I went here to Beagle 2 Landing and bought me a hauler. See, here it is. Quite a beautiful ship. A lot more cargo. Went through, took out my weapon again, and I'm ready to do some more trading. This particular ship had 16 units of cargo, so I'm going to make more profit per run. Then I upgraded from the hauler to the Cobra Mark III, which you can see also has 36 units. So again, making more profit per run. After a ton of trading, I was ready to get the Type 6 transporter here. Now this is a big ship. It's got a lot of cargo. As you can see, it has 100 units. So again, making more and more profit trying to get to those bigger and bigger ships. Now one of the fun things with this ship is you can hit your tab key and look down and actually look where you're landing through the floor because it's all made of glass. Very, very fun. Very, very cool. Now when you get into bigger ships, I start to use the heat sink. Now the heat sink keeps your heat down. If you see this bar on the left hand side, this percentage, that's how much heat you're currently using. See I use the heat sink and my heat goes all the way down just before I go into warp. And you can see I'm down to 1%. When I come out of warp, you'll see it jumps back up again, but I don't go too high where my ship blows up. You can buy more heat sinks back at the space station. And after a lot of hours of trading, I finally made it to the big ship. So I bought the Anaconda. You can see here I'm buying some heat sinks for it. This thing is a giant boat to fly. You can see the interior looks pretty cool. Possibly in the future you can have multiple people playing on the same ship. That'd be very, very cool. Uh, I find I crash into a lot of stuff with this, so I suggest to put your shields at maximum when you're coming in and out of the space station. Great tip from my member Monday. I find stuff runs into me and I run into stuff. Even the autopilot, when you try to fly in using the autopilot, scrapes the top of your ship. Oh, ouch. There goes my paint job of my brand new ship. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this video. It helped you learn a little bit about Elite Dangerous. And I'll see you all next time. Join the fun at kismetbp.com. Make sure to press like, subscribe, and share this video. Plus, leave a comment and let us know what you'd like to see in the future.